So by far, one of the most well-known niche brands is the brand of Creed. They personally have some of my favorite fragrances from Green Irish Tweed to Arofa to Aventis to Royal Oud. But there's one fragrance that has since been vaulted, which is just an internal way of saying discontinued, so you can no lo longer get your hands on it, unfortunately. This fragrance is called Selection Vert. And this is a mint-based fragrance with a bunch of citrus and pepper, neroli, and Ambergris. Well, Dua Fragrances has finally cloned it. So in this Memorial Day special, I'm going to be telling you all about this fragrance, what I think of the smell, how close it comes to the original of which I do have a five milliliter decant. I'm excited to give you my thoughts. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode on Mint and Vert by the Dua brand or Dua Fragrances, and I tell you all about this fragrance, how close it comes to the original, what I find to be the main differences, um, if there are any differences between the two, and also let you know if I think this is a worthwhile purchase in place of the original, which let me just let the cat out of the bag right now. It is, right? Because this is found online for so much money. I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time I do upload a video to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's review. Now, Selection Vert from the research that I did, it's a fragrance that apparently came out in 1901. It's a very old fragrance. We're talking about more than a century old. And it has citrus notes, pepper, neroli, mint, herbal notes, ambergris. It's a very straightforward composition. And from smelling it, I'm able to pick up on the fact that there's spearmint in here because there's a lot of ingredients that smell minty, right? So you have peppermint, you have eucalyptus, even clove, right? Which contains a compound known as eugenol. That can sometimes be kind of minty, but also herbal and medicinal. So here you have Dua's interpretation of that fragrance. And I've been wearing this one kind of liberally. If you can see, it's probably already missing like four milliliters or something like that because I love mint fragrances. When we're dealing with citrus and mint, I overdose on that stuff. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be letting you know how close I think the two are. And now that I've had a good amount of time to spend with each one, I think I'm finally at a verdict or a consensus. So let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So to start things off, I'm going to smell Creed Selection Vert, which is a discontinued fragrance and the big flacone sold for hundreds of dollars. So now, as I'm sure you can imagine with it being off the market for X amount of years, it's selling for over a thousand, if not thousands, plural, right? So let me smell this one. <sighs> I love it. I love it. I really, really love it. This is a beautiful fragrance by Creed. And they actually have a lot of really good green fragrances I've noticed. There's another one called Green Valley as well. That one is hard to come by too. And that one smells really good as well. There are some that are super expensive like Royal Service, which was very floral and didn't cater to my personal taste, but um, this one is actually really, really good. And I think that's on account of the fact that I have such an affinity for the note of mint. I really love it. It has such a refreshing and cooling sensation, not just in your nostrils, but sometimes also on skin, especially if you're dealing with natural mint oil. It definitely has that therapeutic effect, if you will. And it has a really nice balance of citrus and mint, although I would dare say the mint is stronger than the citrus, especially after you've given the fragrance like 20 to 30 minutes to settle in. Oh, you're gonna get a lot of mint from this fragrance. And oh, it's just so warm, so clean, so fresh. A part of it kind of reminds me of like Creed Viking without all of the mature elements, if that makes sense, right? Because I know Creed Viking can be a little bit on the older gentleman mature side of things. And this one is just very bright, citrusy, youthful, but also timeless, right? And I love that. So I really, really like Selection Vert. Okay, so now Dua's version, you're gonna get 
the mint. The mint is the same, right? Very bright, very cooling, very energizing. It just, oh, and there's like a touch of like natural sweetness coming from the mint too. But it's funny, like there's something, dare I say, that smells kind of earthy in this fragrance. I don't know if that's coming from ambergris. I don't know if that's coming from the herbal notes, if there's something in there that's kind of giving it like this earthy appearance, but there is something earthy that is kind of adding to the organic quality of the mint. You know, if you've ever made a mojito, and I, you know, at my previous residence, I actually had a bunch of mint growing in my backyard. And it reminds me of freshly plucked mint that you crushed, and you hit between the palms of your hands and you rubbed along the perimeter of the rim and you smell it and it just smells so natural and organic and very redolent. Like you, you're surprised by how strong the smell of it is. And I'm getting that same quality, very bright and vivacious mint, which I think is adding to the overall appeal and allure of the fragrance. Now it says mint and vert. So vert, you know, you think of green. So what else is here that's green? I know in the perfume industry, there are a lot of trade secrets if you will and you know they don't always reveal every single ingredient that goes into the construction of a fragrance so could there be some patchouli in here sure could there be some oak moss or cypress absolutely right we don't know that is there from what i can perceive an underlying earthy green element to the fragrance yes and if you try it yourself you'll you'll pick up on something as well although it's something that is not made abundantly apparent in the note breakdown doesn't necessarily mean that it's not in here right so sometimes our nose can be a better judge than what we read on a sheet of paper right or what is echoed to us by a sales associate so always trust your own nose but i do get this lively citrus in the opening and i gotta admit i'm not getting a whole lot of neuro and I say that only because Neroli has such a characteristic aroma that I would equate to something like Neroli Canvas by Al Haramain or, you know, Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. So I'm not really getting too much Neroli, but I am getting a lot of citrus. So there's a lot of other, you know, citrus ingredients sort of working their magic in here. Now, if I can comment a little bit on the comparison, <laughs> let me just cross reference to make sure that I still stand on the same percentage. So, hmm, I would say they're about 90% similar. Now, the reason for the disparity is I actually think the Dua version is stronger. So I sprayed these both about 30 minutes ago. Now, when you smell this, meaning the original, it smells loud and strong and ample and hearty and alive, and then you smell the Dua, and the mint really tickles your senses. Now, after you smell the Dua, when you come back to the original, it's like a shadow. It's almost like you can't smell it. And you're like, wait, is my nose starting to tune out the stimuli? Am I experiencing olfactory fatigue? And then you go back to the Dua and you're like, oh no, I can still smell the Dua. So what that means is that the Dua is actually stronger than the original. And I would encourage anybody that has even a sample of Selection Vert, try it at home. So I'm particularly very happy that they took it upon themselves to recreate this one because I always love when I finally have something that I can purchase in place of the original, which is no longer available. That was the case for Armani Attitude, which was long discontinued. Dua made their version called Hashtag Attitude. And that was also the case with Calvin Klein's Crave, which was one of my favorite fragrances growing up. I wore it through high school and they made their version, which is called Hashtag Crave, if I'm remembering correctly. So I love when they resurrect discontinued or or in this case, vaulted fragrances. I think they did a great job here. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, well, it's a clone, right? So no points for uniqueness there. But in terms of the overall smell, I love this smell, right? And this is a fragrance that I had the opportunity and the privilege of trying at the Creed Boutique on Madison Avenue, because even though it wasn't available and they're not selling it, they still have a reference bottle there that you can spray and smell along with Asie Aluminum and Green Valley and a lot of other like harder to come by Creed fragrances. So I 
actually have tried this before many, 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 many years ago, but I'm glad that now not only do I have a 5ml decant in my collection, but I also have a bottle of a recreation, which is stunningly accurate and also stronger. Overall smell, very pleasant. One of my favorite types of scents to wear in the summertime. Longevity, nine hours, I would say eight to nine hours. It is very strong and you can definitely feel the cooling sensation of the mint when you apply it to your skin. The projection is incredible for the first hour and a half. It didn't even start to sit closer to the skin until about the six to seven hour mark and it did radiate beyond an arm's length for a solid hour and a half. So very impressive there. In terms of the versatility, totally unisex in my opinion. You can wear this one dressed up because of the refined citrus. You can also wear this casually because of how carefree a lot of the ingredients are in here. I think this one is great for anybody of any age. I think there's a certain timeless quality with the citrus as well. And I think the spring and summer will probably suit you best. But because it's such an enduring composition, I can see you also enjoying this one in the autumn. Of course, winter time, there's plenty of better choices, but hot weather is really when this thing is gonna shine. And in terms of the presentation, I like the graphic on the front of the bottle. And I like how some of the names are similar to what you'd find in the original, thus making it easier for consumers to find what they're looking for. If indeed they are looking after, uh, for a clone, as a opposed to a hybrid or an original. My final verdict is I am so happy to have both of these in my collection. I love the way that they smell. I love the note of mint and I think Creed Selection Vert does an exceptionally good job of utilizing that note and it is definitely the best mint fragrance that Creed has manufactured, topping even Creed Viking, which has a lot of mint, uh, but I think in terms of a mint and citrus fragrance, nothing beats Selection Vert, so I'm glad that they've cloned it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can purchase this fragrance. I don't make any money off of you using that link or making any purchases. I'm just putting it there for your convenience. Thank you for watching. If you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I do upload future videos to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. It would really, really mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.